Hey guys and girls, Bored now back with you on this video. I'm going to be talking about One Day Episode 5, full spoilers from the start of this review. It is Valentine's season, so I'm continuing with this series. This episode is set in London in July 1992, and it takes on a little bit of a different format than the previous episodes because it's mostly focused on Dexter and it works Emma into the episode at the end because what it does is it picks up with Dexter and the situation with his mother who is dying from cancer and all the stress and pressure that comes with that and also his social life as we see him really hitting the club scene quite hard we see this episode once again does a good job of capturing like a certain mood a certain era and that's what we see with Dexter in the opening of the episode because he's at this club night it's like an acid type rave style club and he's experimenting with drugs he meets a nice looking girl there and he he's living a very heavy sort of lifestyle and as things go on it seems as though he's doing it partly because he's that age and he's just letting off some steam which is perfectly fine to do that but also because of the stress of his family life the situation with his mother and the pressure which both parents put on him but also we see an abusive side with the father and the fact that he's missing Emma as well. Like they still have contact but he is missing her and their relationship or their friendship. And she's worked in at the end of the episode because she has a date with Ian out of the blue. And we see her on that date and we see Dexter calling her up, inviting her to a premiere because he's got tickets to a premiere. And I love this detail. Now, I don't know if this comes from the book or not. I, I can't remember it being in the film, but the, he's got tickets to the premiere of Basic Instinct, which works because it was... I mean, the premiere might have been 92, I thought. I think the film was out in 92, but... That works a lot and you get like a Princess Diana reference there because he says he's expecting her to be there and he forgets the Emma as a date but him leaving these drunken voice messages on Emma's voicemail is kind of how the episode ends as we cut between that and her date with Ian. So I'll get to that, but that's something which they do a little differently in the episode where she gets worked in at the end. And we do see a different side to Dexter, definitely. And, and it's been hinted at in other episodes, but we really go into it here where we see a, a less, well, a more vulnerable, less confident side. And things take a re real dark direction with him and... It is contrasted with, with the Emma stuff. But for the first time, we really see how much he prob probably does need her. Or or at least that's what he thinks anyway. And that's like the desperation as the pressure piles up. Because once again, he has this very intense relationship with his mother where... I think there's hints that she does care about him and that she's interested in his life and wants the best for him, but she has a very manipulative way about her and she has a way of, like, demeaning him. Like, there is one comment from her which, although she it comes across in a harsh way, I think is... She probably does have a point because she criticises one of the shows that he hosts, like this this awful show and sounding show of like Britain's ugliest girlfriend, it's called, and he makes this defence of it. It's like, hey, it's like a after pub type show, and 
it's definitely the sort of show you can imagine being on the air now but I'll give her that she has a point about that because that is just like disgusting pretty much but outside of that I think yes she is really harsh on him in the episode and just demeans him in in a way where there's no no need and uh, once again it's just this this image this pressure which the parents put on Dexter which he couldn't possibly live up to because at one point she does this speech about how he's got all the money and all the opportunities she might have said looks but that's something which has come up before where again his sort of looks and and her looks and the lifestyle they're expected to lead plays a big part in in all this and she she just runs him down says you've got all this and you've still made nothing of your life so I think there's moments of humanity in their relationship and there's moments where you feel she probably does care about her son but she's got like a terrible way of expressing it and just is a very manipulative presence at times and there's definitely well a lot of times when the relationship comes off as being a bit too full on and a bit too heavy and and part of that comes from her not having a great relationship with her husband and that relationship going very like sour and he's quite abusive towards Dexter in the episode because once again he takes away Dexter's keys and and it's because he's drunk and he's he's come in and he's he sleeps throughout the day and so taking away the keys is is like fine but then later on when he drives him to the station he, he he gets very threatening and runs him down so we once again see some, see a more abusive side there and it's just this thing of that's not the way you handle someone in in Dexter's situation so then we we cut to the stuff with him ringing Emma and her going on the date with Ian and we get a bit more of Ian and I really like the date scenes because once again it's this classic sort of awkward date like situation where there's a lot of tension because they haven't seen each other for a while and it's their first date and they're catching up with each other and Ian's just this guy who is very nervous and socially awkward and is just trying too hard with some of his jokes and some of his like little quirks but I think that's what makes it so good and so realistic is it just feels like this this really awkward date which is on the verge of going wrong at any minute but the thing about it is then they do actually keep it together they they do actually click but there's a super awkward moment where he brings up Dexter and and asks about him and it's this sort of moment where you think yeah that's a great thing to do because Dexter's important to Emma and then he almost screws it up in the next instance because he puts Dexter down a bit like I always thought he took you for granted and then he apologizes and Emma's like no no it's fine and I just love that little pause, like the look she gives him because she's starting to question it herself. Maybe thinking about what he said, but also thinking, should you be saying that? Is that quite right? But he just about pulls it back by like apologising. And this date does go more smoothly than the awkward date in the movie with Ian and with Emma because I think one thing which dawned on me during these scenes is that probably one of the reasons why the film was a bit hit and miss was that maybe you couldn't quite buy Anne Hathaway as this awkward nerdy type character 
and and maybe in the book that's not who Emma is anyway like maybe it's this interpretation more but because you've got these two very awkward nerdy characters on this day then it actually endears yourself to them a bit more and it makes you think that Emma's just as nervous as, as Ian is pretty much but she she does have some good lines where she like tries to calm him down and says, "It's just me, you know me from the Mexican Mexon Mexa <laughs> Mexican restaurant. I've made up a word there. You don't have to try and impress me." And yeah, and and in the end, like the date goes well and they kiss, and it contrasts that with Dexter's drunken messages, as I said, and and he gets a little digging <laughs> at Ian as well over the messages with the laughing boy comment. So, yeah, it, it's another strong episode. It's a different way to do it, like I said, but uh, like it did grow and grow really, and it was a, a strong look at Dexter's life at this point, but. It was nicely contrasted with Emma, and and I did enjoy the date scenes. So that's One Day, Episode 5. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe, as always, and share me out on social media. But keep watching TV and films, and I'll be back soon. Goodbye.